Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, we'll be working on a Mazda, guys. And what we'll be doing, we'll apply 20 Mazda, let's say Mazda 2, 3, 5, 6, Mazda CX-3, CX-5, CX-7, and Mazda Miata as well, guys. We will show you the most common reason why your radio doesn't work on your Mazda. Now, it's very, very simple way, guys. We'll explain what needs to be done and what needs to be checked. But the most common reason, guys, why your radio doesn't work will be shared today. And we'll show you how we'll fix the radio on that Mazda CX-7. Quick introduction, guys. Well, we have more than 200 videos on this car and every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and please leave a comment below and let us know if that fixed your problem. So, let's start on it now. So, we'll go inside. This is a 2010 Mazda, guys, and we'll show you how the radio doesn't work on that thing. Okay, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to turn the ignition on. Okay, ignition will be on. You can see. Okay, the screen for the radio, and that's uh, the information screen right there. It just says hello. Okay, this is the power button right here. I'm going to press it. I'm going to press any of the buttons. Nothing guys. So you can see a radio doesn't work at all. I try to uh, see even if I click the jack button on the CD will make a sound. Nothing. So let us explain now how to do that. How to fix it. Most of the times guys the radio on Mazda guys especially the newer vehicles guys you have a fuse that controls the radio. However when you check your manual it will not say radio. Okay on many Mazda vehicles it will not say radio. Actually it will say something else. Uh, why they did that, I have no idea. Like on this Mazda right here, guys, it took us quite a bit to find a radio fuse because it's not listed in the menu. And on the fuse box, it's not listed as radio as well. Some some uh, vehicles nowadays, the fuse is actually behind the radio. Okay, on this one, it's not there. And uh, we started checking fuse by fuse and we found out, okay, the fuse that says room, okay, this is for actually for these lights as well. This is for the radio, guys for the radio, they share one. So because of a bad bulb or something like that, your fuse may burn and your radio not work. Okay, how crazy that is. Uh, not always it will be under room or anything like that, but check for interior lights, room, radio, accessories, something like that, guys. So I'll go ahead, okay, remove that fuse now. Okay, let's go ahead, pull it out. This is it, guys. Okay, burn fuse, if you need to buy, new fuses you can check out guys in the description of the video below where you can get uh, replacement fuses for amazing price okay we'll have the link in the description of the video so please check it out it will be super super good deal and I'll go ahead put a fuse in okay new 15 amp fuse always replace it with the one that is asking for lights now do work so that's a good sign and I will uh, grab the key quick okay let's see if the radio now will work Hopefully it does. So, I can hear it making noise. So that's good, right? Let's click the button now. Okay, you can see guys, radio does work. So definitely guys, this is, uh, this is the most common reason why Mazda radio will not work. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.